There is 24 hours in a day, 10,080 minutes in a week, 86,400 seconds in a day, 1,440 minutes in a day. Your time on planet Earth is limited. You might see luxury houses, million dollar listings out there and materialistic cars, but behind all this, there's a humble zit, which I'm about to talk to you guys about today. You know what I love about you and uh, Zaf? That you guys both work together. You're such a hard-working couple, you know? That like inspires me, you know? I love watching people like yourselves. You have to be able to work together. Do you want to try? Uh, no, that should be fine. Love you. Thank you so much. You're the best. Take care. Love ya. Bye-bye. Anybody that wants to sell, who should they go to? Yeah, Z Real Estate. <laughs> Can you open up the door? Because I'm holding your coffee. <laughs> That's got a child like because he's got kids. Real estate's all about meeting people. And the bigger your network is, the bigger your net worth gets. This was a great example. You should know every single cafe owner and get to mingle with people the first thing you walk in. Your energy should introduce yourself first before anything else, yeah? And the minute I walked out, everybody, she knew that I was a, real, a realtor and she knew that if she had to sell a property, she'll go to Z Real Estate. Now, the reason why I started doing that is because I would never ever forget this transaction. You just missed the sign. You just missed the exit case. Nah, it's the other one. Yeah, you missed it. What was the other one? Yep, it was, yeah, you got to chuck it. All good. But the reason why I started talking to every single cafe owner or every single shop owner is because I actually I actually sold a $3 million deal and, and I'll make close to $50,000, but if I would have never ever asked the question, I wouldn't have got the business, yeah? A $3 million deal from a cafe, would you believe it? The simple philosophy in sales is, you just gotta ask. I'm gonna repeat that again, ask, because you never know knowledge you ask. The sunset and sunrise in this property will be amazing. Is that, is that even a word? Amazing, yeah it is. I think I'll just replace amazing with amazingness. What are that? The terrace that looks out to the water and then you got the clear water views and then you got clear CBD views and days like this because the property's not facing here as well. So you get heaps of natural sunlight coming out. The only thing I don't like about this property is the fact that I have to sell it. <laughs> I wish I could live in here. What's gonna sell this house is the uninterrupted views of the water and Melbourne CBD. Imagine sunset and sunrise from your balcony every single night. You get out of your master bedroom and you've got views to heaven on earth. Have I sold it to you? You actually got a deal mate. <laughs> <laughs> I sold it to my brother. <laughs> Case has been my compliance manager for the last 14, 15 months for Z Real Estate. And now he's just decided to jump into sales. And why do you want to do sales? I, uh, Z, actually, it's, um, I really want to know how the front end works. Okay. Because yeah. I know all the compliance, the back end, uh, and Which everything. Which is really important. And uh, sales people don't like I paperwork. really want to know how you guys close a deal, how you sure. guys get a listing, so I can actually package it and make myself a better agent. I like, let's go, let me teach you about sales. Yep. Come on, number one rule in sales. You have to know your product knowledge. Product, you right. have to study the house. And let's uh -huh. take some notes. Number one, land size, house size, who the builder is. I want you to take notes down. Yep. Do you know the difference between the rapid cooling and the rapid refrigerated? Uh, how big is the actual build size, you know? And how much does it cost per square meter in this specific part of the water? Correct? Mm -hmm. Now these floorboards, for instance, these are gyro floorboards. I want you to study how much gyro floorboards cost. You've got high ceilings in here. You've got granite bench tops. These are stone bench tops, the difference of that. Are these double glazed windows? Yes or no. But look at the views you get in this amazing property. That fireplace I just noticed there. And who's the builder here? Uh, Jara Heads. <laughs> the vendor is the actual builder for this property. Oh, is that okay? Jara right. is the floorboards, all right? right. <laughs> he just made that up and he responded back in confidence way. <laughs> so the property offers you two bedrooms downstairs, okay, and you've got your own living zone. Yeah. And you've got two bedrooms upstairs with high ceilings and quality fixtures and fittings throughout.
how was your first experience at uh, an open home? It was actually exciting for me. Uh, it was good to be out of the office and yeah. Uh, yeah. to be able to meet the different people, different uh, different good. potential good. purchases. Yeah. Do, you want, do you want to hear some feedback? Oh, it's, yes, cool. I do. So your energy should introduce yourself first before you they even come into the property. So real estate is not about properties, it's about people, yeah? Mm -hmm. People buy off people, they like people, sell with people, they like. In other words, you're pitching, you, sh you should practice this so many times before the buyers walk in. Hi, my name is Zed, I'm from Blah 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 Real Estate. Welcome to Nine Lord Weaver Grove in Bond Beach. This is an amazing property, I'm so excited. What's your first name? Bam! Confidence is very attractive, especially because most likely they'll have another house to sell, correct? That's why they say practice your pitch before you walk in. But you, my friend, did an amazing job. Keep it up, just, you just gotta practice the introduction part. So this property is quite different. How would you sell this? It sure is. This is more about a investor or a developer to walk in here. Purchase price of $2.2 million. Mm -hmm. Stamps, you know, blah, blah, you work it out. And a million dollars is not a build because it's got plans of permits approved for two townhouses. Right. And the land offers you 900 square meters. So 900 divided by two, that's a 450. 450 land size, 32 square townhouses. Resale value of $2 million each or $2 million fifty, depending on There's how the There's $1 million is. profit in this one. Exactly, what's it? $1 million profit. Well done, there you go. Because I hate Melbourne weather, you know? Sometimes <laughs> hot, cold, you know? But a lot of people like it because there's 14. Where? Yeah, down the road. For Zale. Yeah, company, Z Real Estate. Yeah, because Z Full Stop, we give you finance, we can build for you, we have architects for you, we have lawyers for you, we have everything. It's the land value that you're buying, I just want you to understand. Uh, but the good thing is that because it's got plans of permits approved for two already, you'll be able to sell these because they're two to 32 squares, you'll be able to sell them for $2 million each townhouse. The neighbor up, uh, up, uh, approve? Approved? Yeah, yeah, everything approved already. Yeah. The council approved, the neighbor, the neighbors don't have to approve, the council approved already. From my calculation, um, if you are after an investment property, mm -hmm. because very rarely you get 900 square meters, you know what I mean? Um, you, you can make a good $1 million profit in this. Do you see how important it is to actually know how to do a feasibility on the spot for that potential investor? Because all that's important is the return on their investment and the end results that you're gonna get. Guys? Yeah, so it's so important, you know, and as an agent, if you do want to take your skill to another level, learn how to do a full uh, uh, P&L and uh, L statement on the spot and do a, feel, a full feasibility report on the spot. I've got a saying, I mean, my dad used to tell us, less chooks in life, less shit. I'm going to repeat that again, less chooks, less shit. You are who you surround yourself with. And the day that I landed, you know, I had good friends, I had supportive friends that brought out the best out of me, I had good family, you know, and they've been supporting me. Look at this guy, he's, he's my driver right now. He's driving. That's not my driver, that's my older brother. That's what support is all about. I'm sure he's not happy about, you know, him driving me around, but this is what family is all about. The house is approximately about 35 to 40 years old. Uh, brick veneer, you can see it, yeah. and strongly made back four in bedrooms. the four bedrooms, uh, en suite, yeah. two, uh, two bathrooms, it's about almost a thousand square land. Thousand uh, square meters, yeah, quarter, thousand of square, yeah, quarter of an acre? Yeah, quarter of an acre. You can easily build three uh, townhouse, approximately 28 to 30 square. So you bought uh, this to be able to redevelop yourself? Redevelop and make, you know, quick 900,000 to a million dollars. 900 to a million Yeah, easily dollars, be okay. made on this, and as you sure. can see yourself, the land is quite big. It's quite and flat as well, just flat, excavation no, Yep, yep, no yep. excavation. So there's a good $900,000 to be easy, made in here. Easy, no problem though. Perfect. And why did you come to Z Real Estate again? Because he gets a result. About a year and a half ago, he got a result sold for another me. Site? Yeah, sold another site on Brenda Park Drive. Sure. So now, we've got another, another opportunity. Another Are you going to keep doing this? That's my passion. That's what I yep. do always for the last <laughs> five years. And a little advice you like to uh, pass on to people out there. Should they invest their money in real estate? Real said definitely. That's the only way you can make money, guys. There's no other way. That's how I believe. Real, uh, I like it. The developer of these properties in Ashburton was quite smart because you've got one property address from the, for the front one and a different one for the back one. They're actually not townhouses. They're double-story homes in the heart of Ashburton. Are you ready for it? I agree. All right, cool. Because I've had over 50 phone calls about this one. Yeah. What are you saying? Let's go. I'll show you, show you what to say before we walk in, before the buyers walk in. Okay, so I'll tell you exactly how smart the developer was on this one, Case. So this one over here is number 56 Alamein. The front one offers you four bedrooms, three bathrooms. 
smaller living area in comparison to the back one, but you've got engineered timber, you've got colour cut of white marble throughout the whole house, plenty of natural sunlight coming in. It also has a terrace, uh, you know, with nice views out. It's quite, you know, an amazing neighbourhood as well, because you, then you've got, talk about location, you've got schools, you've got shopping centres, you've got transportation, freeway access literally on your doorstep. We just had 33 groups through in the last open. How was your experience there? Well, the, the last one was very hectic. Uh, didn't see that many people. And I wasn't expecting that many people. What do you mean you didn't see that many people? You just had 33 people. How oh, many no, more did was, you want? That, that, that was a lot of people. Yeah. So, um, yeah, well, that was very good. Uh, I, I think I can actually do this. You yeah. think you can do it? Yeah. You need a positivity. I can do it. It's easy, oh, I yeah? I can do this, yeah. I can do this. Good. Well, so, next week, I'm going to be running all the urbans myself. As it Good. Well, that's what, exactly what I want to hear. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed vlog number 19. Right now, we're at Ashburton. That one's in the market of 1.5, 1.5, $3 million, and close to $10 million worth of properties to be sold. I feel like doing, I'm doing an auction right now. Do you think you can do this for the rest oh, of your I can life? Do this. Even when you're retired? Oh, I can do this. Can you handle sales one on one? I'd love to do this. Good. See, that's the confidence that exactly you need as a salesman out there. Australia, subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook page. Give it a like, leave your comments because we literally read every single comment out there there is. Thank you for watching.